opened uh, first store back in 1981. The first years were difficult. I would tell you the first four or five years, I was probably lucky to stay in business to survive. By 86, 87, things were starting to come together. The competitor was going out of business down in Kirkwood, and we had the opportunity to take over a second store. I was arrogant enough to believe that I knew what I was doing at that time, so we took over the second store, and I discovered that running two businesses is not the same as one business with two locations. The only difference that separates anyone is customer service. That's it. I see you in the stores a lot. I get to know your name. I know what you like. Hey, you come in. Hey, I'll suggest this. I'll suggest that. That mom and those kids come in for the very first time. I got to do the exact same thing. Hey, how you doing? What are you after? Well, here, let me help you. Where most shops will just ignore them because, well, they're not my customers. I can go to Borders. I can go online and get any gaming, anything in this store at 20 to 30 percent off. So why don't people do that more often? Because, you know, they want to come in and talk to someone and someone who knows what they're doing. My wife and I, after three years of losing money at the second business, we grew up to Niagara Falls and we enjoyed the falls and then locked ourselves into a hotel room and we said we're not coming out until we know what we're going to do. We were determined that we'd either come out and shut down the second store or we would learn from our mistakes and move ahead. We came back to St. Louis and we didn't shut the store down. We moved it into a more expensive location. We went out and bought all new fixtures. We went with new employees and things took off right away. By 91, shortly after we did the move, 93, I guess, we opened up the new store up in Hazelwood. It took off right away. We did very well. We bought a four store in 94, 95. Um, learned a whole lot of new lessons about trying to run a chain operation as opposed to running individual stores. Eventually we opened up the Fairview Heights store, the fifth store. We followed that one within a year or two with the Afton store and then bought out a small shop out in O'Fallon for the seventh shop. And then this last year we picked up two stores up in Michigan, businesses that their owners were making mistakes, they were having problems, and we were able to make a good deal on them. So at the moment, we have nine stores. Um, whether we'll go down or up from there remains to be seen. Advantages, sure, just plain buying power. Like anything, the more you get from a distributor, the better discount you get, and that's what it comes down to. Diamond Comic Distributors, the guys put the previews magazines. They're the guys we get all our comics from. They're the only comic distributor left in the United States. They sell all the Marvel and all the DC books, all the independents to everybody, whether it's a comic shop, a Borders, a 7-Eleven, or whoever. We are in the top one quarter of 1% largest accounts they have. I think there's only five other guys who order more stuff every month than we do in the Northern Hemisphere. That gives us a massive advantage. Uh, we also get another advantage that since we are so big, we get our stuff a day early. Okay. Everybody gets their books on Wednesday. Some shops may not get their stuff Wednesday till noon. Others may not get it till 5 p.m. I can go pick mine up Tuesday at 10 a.m. We take it to the office, separate it for all seven stores, and I drive it to all the shops. We don't put it out and sell it till Wednesday, but when every shop opens Wednesday morning, their stuff's on the shelf and ready to go. They've already done their pull and holds, already set out all their product and all the merchandise they got also. It's all finished. So that gives us a massive advantage. For me, I'm happy and I'm satisfied. I have the life I want. If I never opened another store, if I never had to do anything else differently, I could die a very satisfied and happy man. On the other hand, I'm not dead. Uh, I like challenges. I like learning. I like discovering what I didn't know before. So I'll probably keep looking to expand and to improve. Um, not because I'm ambitious, but just because I want the challenge. So assuming I don't go bankrupt, yeah, I'll probably keep opening stores. Um, whether I'll finish with nine, four, or two hundred, that's the fun of the future. Wait and see. People ask me over the years, me and Dave, well, you know, is your philosophy of customer service right or wrong? 
we have nine stores. We're like the fourth, fifth largest chain in the country. You know, uh, in the last six months, five stores have closed their doors here in St. Louis. Yeah, uh, yeah I'd say we're on the right track. <laughs>